What's going on, y'all? VNNCZ3 here, coming back at you with another Lord's Mobile Tips and Tricks Guide. And if you like what you hear and what you see in this video, go ahead and hit that subscriber button. But if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for your continued support. It really does mean the world to me. Look at that. Blue bonus. 400 gems. All right. I likes it. I likes it. I likes it. That's going to allow us to do this right here. And yeah, I'm going to spend the gems. I gem my troops. I really try not to gem anything else. Um, that's something you guys need to get in the habit of doing. Hell event rewards. Sweet. Get my rewards. Okay, guys. But in this video, I will 100% be covering um, the uh, frost wings. Okay. And what I mean by that is I will be doing um, kind of like a video about it. You know what I'm saying? I'll be telling you guys, or I'll be showing you guys, um, how exactly to um, get by and do them, uh, and get max rewards. So stay by, stand by, and I will get with you guys here in just a second. Oh, dang, 511. Uh, do I have any guild points to get a speed up? Any guild coins? I do. Speed ups. And we're going to use a three hour one. And this is why I use the guild, uh, the guild coins for our speed ups. Actually, <laughs> we're gonna go like this, and we're just gonna rapidly build up our military here because we are going to be taking out skirmish, um, uh, skirmish seven. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just kind of like, uh, uh, I haven't had any coffee in my system this morning, so please, please bear with me. <laughs> so wait, here we go. We get another um, hell reward. Um, the hell event reward. We are almost maxed out on this reward, and it'd be nice to get it, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna press for it. Um, it'd be nice to get the hell reward, um, the hell event done, because you get ten of these epic material chests, and they're guaranteed to have uncommon loots. And so, if I had more gems, I would definitely gem all my troops up to get this. So, um, but anyways, guys, we're at 2.4 million might now. So, good business. We are at 26k troops. Our infirmaries will have 27. Okay, anyways, guys, so I was going to show you guys the Frostwing stuff, so check it out, right? Um, you see the Frostwing, like, right here. Let's just take this one, for instance, okay? There's enough time on it. You guys can use this Monster Hunt times one, okay? The game will have you believe that you got to hit the times five to do maximum damage, but just look, you know, hit the times one. It's going to take me a second to get over there, 26 seconds. But the one thing you want to pay attention to is the amount of messages you get, the reports and stuff that you get. Um, because it's super, super, super important that you get maximum rewards. I can attack this thing at least 10 times and then kill it. And that's 10 times of the uh, chances of rewards that I get. I have a chance to get a Frostwing Heart, Frostwing Scales, Horns, Claws, even Gems, Shieldings, Speed Ups. I have a chance to get all of that stuff. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got this time. Let's go down to here, Hunting Frostwing, look at that. I got a 1,000 energy, a 10 minute speed up, and a Frostwing Horn. I'm going to continue to hit this over and over and over again, but I'm gonna watch these other guys because um, last time I was doing this, the people were watching me <laughs> and they sniped out my kill. Unfortunately, um, I don't do anything about that even though I could probably crush everybody around me. In fact, I know I could. I could easily rage war against all of these guys and beat them all up, but I have no desire to do any of those things. I really don't. And we're going to send our guys back out. And remember, every time we do this, we get 100% um, player EXP. So there's multiple benefits to doing this. We not only get the 2,000, almost actually my bad, 1,100 or 2,100 player EXP or something like that. Yeah, it's almost 2,100. Sorry, guys. No coffee again, right? Um, but all of our all of our heroes get 1,000 um, EXP as well. So um, it's good business, guys. I'm telling you. And look at the rewards that we got right there. So. This is something you guys really, really, really want to pay attention to. Look at this. Now, this, these guys right here, they're going to send an attack as well. I don't know how far away they are. Here we go. See this? This guy right here. Let me look at this space. Oh, no. Let me go like this. Let me click the guy. See where he came from. Oh, come on. And so he's only got 100k might, so he, I don't think he's going to be able to snipe out my, my kill here. So, But here we go. This is reward number two. Okay, another 10 minute speed up. I'll take it. We're going to go ahead and do it again. And we're going to keep going until it's almost dead. And then we're going to go ahead and hit it with a... And probably when it's 20%, just to ensure we get the kill, we are going to hit it. See, look at this guy. This pow guy is going to... He's returning because he hit a frost wing over there. Probably this one right here. 
Um, but yeah, we are going to be attacking just this one. I'm not a greedy person. Um, I do I do stuff like this. Um, hell event has troop training as rewards. So jam your troops while you can. And the reason why people get kicked from our guild is either one of two things. Either they are inactive or they are an alt. Ooh, look at that. Frostwing scales. Pretty nice, guys. The Frostwing armor is super sweet. Um, I'm hoping to get my full set eventually. That's something that I really plan on doing. And so, um, yeah, that's something. Oh, and we got a gold bonus. A gold bonus. I love the gold bonuses, guys. Ooh, 600 gems. Just what the doctor ordered. Now I can go ahead and gem those troops. Guys, remember, it's it's super smart to not gem. Like for me, I ran out of um, um, I ran out of speed ups to get um, like speed ups because for some reason when I went to like my barracks and I went to speed it up, I clicked on all of my three hour speed ups and I used like fucking thirty of them. I was pissed off because it's like that's a couple of days right there worth of speed ups. So I had to gem a couple of them. So it's not a big deal. We are going to, come on, give me the reward, look at this, there we go. And by the way, these resources, these timbers and this ore, just save in your bag, unless you actually need them. Like me, I'm going to go collect more wood here shortly, um, and then I'm going to collect the other resources as well. So I'm going to speed up this right here, take 20 minutes off of it, and then I'm going to spend the 606 gems, just, just basically gem them. And then I'm going to go ahead and train some of these troops. I need some gold, and that's too easy. And that's what I use these uh, little resource piles for, in case I don't have them. And uh, there's no reason to slow my progress down, basically. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, really? Really? All right, I'm sorry. It's, it's, remember, it's super early in the morning, no coffee. So um, don't don't hold it against me, guys. Don't, don't flame me in the video. Don't be like, you're an idiot, because I'll be like, yeah, I am, with a big cloud around my head. Um, there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and train our royal uh, royal guard. Now, typically, I only build cavalry and stealth snipers, mainly cavalry, because um, cavalry moves the fastest, um, and not a lot of things really beat them down. I mean, you need a lot of stealth snipers to beat the cavalry down, but a lot of guys like to invest in the infantry because they can carry the most. And so my cavalry usually counters them, and that's what I did on the Taiwan server, and it was very successful. So we're going to hit this frost wing yet again. We're going to take a peek at it. It's at 62%, and we're just going to keep hitting it. That's, um, so I've gotten one, two, three, four rewards from this Frostwing so far. And woohoo! Maybe we can actually gem some more. We just got another couple of speed ups. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and spend those speed ups. <laughs> I'm serious, guys. You need to take it from the master, whatever you want to call it. I need. Ooh, I need one more good speed up. If I had another three hour speed up, I'd have more troops. And so, there we go. Look at that. We got some levels on our guys. What do we get for rewards? Give me some. S Ooh, that's not bad. Like I said, guys, we're only doing this just to collect the rewards off of the actual hunt. To kill it, it's not a problem. We can actually kill it. Oh my gosh, another alarm. I'm so horrible for this, too. Um, we're not looking to actually finish it off unless we have to. And so. I'm going to use all my energies, except for the 10,000 one, because um, I'm going to be saving the majority of these energies um, as much as I can. Um, but I'm going to use them while I can at the lower levels, because once these guys get up in levels, it's going to be super, super hard to get kills like this. Like, on the Taiwan server, I can send my one group out on a times one and do like 50% or more. And so it's kind of it's a little painful, not going to lie. There we go. And like I said, I'm taking care of Tracker, Scarlet Bolt, Prima Donna. The big guy, eh, if when he levels, he'll he'll level. I'm not, I'm not in a rush to send him or feed him any any EXP or gear or anything. I'm just more or less worried about this these guys right here. Cool, Frostwing loot. Give me speed ups. Oh, hero chest. Those are not bad guys. Don't don't be sad when you get those because they save you um, time. What do we get in this one? Give me speed ups. Ooh, okay. I'll take the Frostwing claw. It's really nice when you get a Frostwing Heart, though, guys. It really is. Um, my goal is to actually um, improve this right here. The Frostwing Shield. It gives me Army HP and Army Defense. 
the vice grips is a popular thing people like to make and i made one just to make one just in case i changed my mind i wanted to have a core but in order to upgrade this i need to have lots of frostwing scales <laughs> and yep i need the blue version and i need lots of horns so um yeah i'm just slowly but surely making that up because at the mythic version that is a lot of defense and a lot of army hp and the wall defense boost is pretty okay um, same thing for like the boots. I'll be upgrading my boots once I get the resources to do so. And so right now I need to be gathering and that's why I'm building my different types of troops up because I send out three different armies and each army collects a certain resource. And so that's the kind of bottleneck you're going to have in this game is, um, um, the kind of game that you're going to be playing here is that people are going to be like, well, I need this resource, and they're going to fight over them, guys, because relics are super important in this game. They really are. Um, and if you don't think that they are, then, you know, tell me in the comments, why don't you agree with me on it? Because I can assure you that relics are probably one of the most important features in the game that you can actually get and earn, and doesn't cost you anything to do. You know, um, pretty much this game is very, 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 very free-to-play friendly. Um, but the thing is that you need to watch out for is that even though it is free to play friendly, um, there are players like this Ken Happy Kenny guy right here. Oh, cool, another speed up. Um, there's people like that that'll kind of ruin your day. And what I mean by that is they'll go and, um, you know, basically pound your, pound your military out. You know, it's just, just the way it works. You know, and then people do that all the time. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we are going to hit this guy a couple of more times. Just keep sending our troops. Sorry, guys. I just want you guys to see the um, the, the pure benefit of this. It's 28%, and the next attack we're going to send out, we are going to actually kill it. And so this person probably is still sending another troop out there. The Mighty Thor. Yeah, 1.1 million. Um, I don't think he'll deliver a killing blow to it. Unless he times fives it. And so maybe he's got a times one on it. And so if he does, then his guild will definitely take the take the kill. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually burn a speed up. I do not want them to take the kill on this one. And so I will hit this guy with a times two, and I will finish this up. And I'm going to use another speed up. I don't want them to snipe that kill out, so that's the only reason why I'm doing it. And so now he just wasted the energy because you don't get a refund on the energy. And so I see this guy. He's like, hmm, let me snipe that. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> Ooh, cool. Another, another energy right here. And look at this, guys. We got a 20-minute speed up, and we got Frostwing uh, hero chest loots. It's good stuff, man. It really is. So we're going to help everybody. Always try to help your guild members out as much as you can. It's, oh, it's just a big benefit to you. Um, so here we go. We got two Frostwing loots. There we go. I'll take the loots. It's all beneficial, guys. It's all beneficial. Click this. Ooh, another speed up. Um, I wish I had more gems. 357. Um, you know, I'll probably get gems here sooner or later. I'm going to kind of hold off, I think. I really want to get in on this heroic adventure. And the heroic adventure is going to be around for a little bit, so... Um, yeah, I'll be buying these mainly because of the Brave Hearts, to be honest with you. The gems are pretty special too, but it's mainly the Brave Hearts that I'd buy into this. The resources or whatever, it's not a big deal. Same thing for the speed ups. It's mainly the, uh, the Brave Hearts. Um, so whenever I get the chance to, I'll buy into that. 2.5, man, I'm at 2.5k, uh, uh 2.5 million. So it's good stuff, guys. Um, let me see here. How far away is the big guy from leveling? Ooh, could I level him right now? I'm all like, I'm not going to pay attention to him, but then now I am. I'm going to level Prima Donna to first. There we go. Then I will level the big guy. Always take care of your mains first. There we go. Now Scarlet Bolt will be the next one. I get up to 35. And I'm going to um, rank up this, this, this gentleman right here. It's going to be up to a rank um, 5. It's not going to unlock any hero skills, but check this out, guys. The thick skin for him, mm, it's just a, it's, if that was like 10%, then I'd be kind of like, wow, cool, but it's not. <laughs> and this um, brutal impact is whatever. Same thing for the quake. The rampage is whatever, too. It's not a, 
Um, anyways, though, guys, um, love, peace, and chicken grease. Sorry if I don't sound too enthusiastic. I'm trying to be super quiet. It's early in the morning. I don't want to wake anybody up. So, um, yeah, uh, love you guys. I really do. And if you liked the video and you thought that this was a really good tip, then go ahead and share it with a friend. Um, I do daily Lord's Mobile videos. So, yeah, hit me up. My line ID is VNNCZ3 if you have any questions. Best way to contact me, though, is on YouTube because I get notifications that way. Um, anyways, guys, be safe, but above all, stay classy.